There it goes. State is triumphant. So now my max absolute is 105. We will form Russia. No, I decided that we are not going to form Russia. We are going to stay with Reagan ideas, Reagan color and Reagan government, which is the theocracy. We finally got to the moment when theocracy is being worth it. Wars Corcos modifies, right? We have from Age of Reformation, we have 25% versus other religions. In the current reforms, uh, we'll be having over here another 30% versus other religions. On top of that, our current government is having the militarist mechanic, which is giving 15% Wars Corcos. And we also do have Promise Wars Corcos 20% from diplomatic ideas. So pretty much just getting everything for free. Age of Bonus will end soon, but in exchange for that we'll get Absolutis, which will keep it very, very cheap. What we are also working on is to get uh, more of the max Absolutis when the age starts. So I'm gonna... The thing is, right now I can get our uh, generals for 21 points. We have a gold area, we have uh, you know a modifier from, uh, from the state privilege, and we have another modifier from being uh, a theocracy. But we'll need more Absolutis soon, so I'm gonna... Get my generals to the limit, so just one more, and I'm gonna cancel this. Truce with Moscow we ended, Truce with Poland ends next year. So I'm gonna already send one stack to deal with the Moscow just having Ryazan, so another stack to Ryazan, and we'll go and kill them quickly. I do have Truce with these guys? Oh, this is actually four years of Truce, so no, Poland will be the next one to the attack, and Truce with Poland is ending in March. And there goes the last diplomatic idea, that gives me diplomatic attack cost, that gives me a lower stability impact on, you know, for, for example, if I do a no CB war, I lose one stability instead of two. If I uh, attack someone that I have already managed with, it's not going to uh, take a stability hit for that. And of course, a couple of policies. So there's a mission items and religious unity, you did diplomatic competition, yearly party authority. And here I could take the additional diplomatic reputation, force limit, and this is the old one. Maybe take a better leader for that. Our current ruler, right? He's 5z0. We want, we want him to be killed very easy. Be clever, show superiority. There will be some useless allies of them joining. Go for this fort. Go for the capital. Go for Podola. So now if I try to peace out Poland, I could take really plenty of provinces. See? There's 140 over extension peace deal that I can do easily right now. It's another 5k stack. See, that's just free war score that we are farming on these little stacks. Oh, they're running away to Rava. So it's just scheduling Rava. Another one. Wait for these guys to be movement locked. So do not change their mind about going to this province. And get another free war score. There it goes. Now we have from how much from winning battles? 28. Then this stack might just simply carpet siege whole Lithuania. Just do our favorite carpet siege. Not the carpet siege being done by the game, which completely doesn't work, but the like good old carpet siege. These guys are attacking me here. Let's get a better general. So I can try winning this. Come on. Okay, win it. Look, last stand of the Regans. Look, we won, but we also lost way more troops. Yes, it's just perfect. Normally, I'll be able to take half of these provinces without my bonuses, you know? It's all good. Send the peace deal. Look at this Riga. Release uh, this vassal that was mentioned, so Kiev. And give them maybe not everything, but uh, a big chunk of those provinces around here. I'm actually not a violent rival for many countries, because remember, I was having six different enemies, but I'm too strong for most of them now. Yeah, if I'm paying for my army anyway, actually, as we are at war, I'm gonna drill them. Is they anyway paid? Oh, but I can do this! Cancel the free enterprise. Yes, that will be way more max absolutism. It's good that our ruler died, finally, right? He was 5 0, zero. But we need to go for the militarists. For our bonuses, so have to go for a little bit worse than this guy, but a militarist. But he's still 5 3 3, which means we have 12 13 9 mana generation. This land this time, yes, it will be 40% now, and that will be some rebels from the nobility. So it's January, this is just plus 15%. Let's take it 648 of cost. You can take this as well. And that unlocks us universities and admin efficiency. 
So I could build actually a couple of universities if I, if I want. Because I, I can also boost my max absolutes from high crownland and I get can get high crownland by doing my provinces. I'm gonna go and conquer both Moscow and Kazan now. And in three years when I'll be able to seize land, my nobility will be loyal. I mean over 50. And my burgers will be below 50. So once I seize land, I'll get particulars from burgers. We are wanted to piece out Kazan before I even get an uh, absolutism. You can see that I pretty much can fully annex them. This is 155 for extension. Oh, see, I can make the burgers this layer already. Let's do so. So later when I seize land from them, I'll get the particulars. Why do you want the particulars events? You'll see. We will stack up suits for thanks to them. Remember guys, in the last stream I took all of this from the Ottomans. It's like a gigantic war that we had a couple of problems to win because of the amount of uh, troops, but we won it after all. Let's see. This is 75. It's actually already very nice. Oh my god, 34k of Uzbek troops just came to us. <laughs> What's the Uzbek tech? 13th. I have 70, oh my god. This is such, such a free war score. If I take down this fort, would they be closed inside my country? I think they should be, right? That should be a free war score and wipe. Okay. I should have low more of them, so it's even worth to go and attack there. Now, where are you going to run away? After you lose this battle. Here. And if I lose here. Yeah, and that's a wipe. Told you that's a free war score. Couple of provinces to make our borders nice. It's more like something like this. And most importantly, we are getting ourselves uh, over extension. So we'll get the Regan particularized quicker. A few things. Concentrate. Concentrate. And give a few provinces to Nizhny Novgorod. First step is the particles because accepting the particles demands is decreasing your current absolutism. So it needs to be the first step. Ah yeah, I can get particles now. When I seize land, I got the Regan particulars, right? So how particulars are working that accepting the demands is increasing autonomy. But it's not random province that is going to increase the autonomy in. It's going to increase the autonomy in every province that has either my culture or accepted culture. So everything that is green. Right, so I'm going to accept the demands. Oi, oi, that's a lot. That would also decrease my uh, current absolutes by 10 if I accepted them with having some absolutes, but I don't have any. Right, so first step. Let's go to all of these princes where we got, uh, where we got uh, this autonomy. And decrease it. That should be like, I don't know, 20 absolutes at start. Maybe a little bit more, 25. Okay, that was the first step. Now it's 27. Now I'm going to save the game and I'm going to show you second trick. So let me restart it, exit the menu. Second thing is, when you start the game, they broke it on Emperor uh, on 1.30. Game thinks that all of your uh, territories are part of the states. See, this is a territory and it thinks that uh, it has 50 of uh, autonomy. So in many of those provinces, what I can do, I can actually also decrease the autonomy. So now we're having 32 absolute at the very start. And all of those decreasing autonomy is also causing many of the rebels, right? We have plenty of rebels, but also plenty of meal pots. So what I'm gonna do with that, first of all, we'll go to religion, which is going to give us harsh treatment cost 25%. We are going to get here, get another 33% of the harsh treatment cost. So now when I'm doing harsh treatment, this costs me 14 points. This costs me 18 points. And this is a more, more like legal way of getting the getting this uh, this modifiers. This plenty of rebels, which means plenty, plenty of harsh treatment is just turn off the armies. Once I get it to 50, that's actually soon, I should be thinking about the court and country. Oh, I could cancel this as well. Let's do so. Yes. This uh, advisor will be a little bit more expensive. At the same time, well, now our max up to this is 80. Let's go for Denmark now. This is actually 24 now. Declare the war for Magdeburg. Oh, 
Denmark just annexed Norway by the way. Now we just need to get at least one unrest. So I'm gonna change my icon for construction cost, death cost, all no institution. And now my national unrest is uh, still minus 2.3. So I should probably know to be someone to decrease the stability as well. Gazimunuk? Yes? Just do Gazimunuk. I'll deal with them later. And this will be the war that I will be keeping to to get the court and country. So now the last step will be just to get our extension from conquering provinces on Denmark. Send the peace deal. Look at this Riga. I guess expansion is not even a big problem. There it goes. So to launch in November 1620. So until this time, I shouldn't call my provinces and I shouldn't end my war with Gazemunuk. I'm gonna state those provinces without spending admin points to fully state them. So for the states where you conquered everything, that's easiest to control it. Uh, this you can do half states. Those half states mean a couple of things. First of all, the autonomy is now 50 on those provinces. So my average autonomy in the whole country is now 44 province instead of 48. Second of all, you don't pay any GAF capacity for the half states. And third of all, because it's autonomy lower, you're getting more, you know, actual income. But of course, you're also paying for this state. So now my cost of the state is 8.5, so it's a little bit higher. But I'm also earning more from this state. Core all of the provinces. So I'll finish the core in May 1621. This will be November 1690. I need to get it to 50 during the courting. And who the hell can join it? Poland? Give me a quick diplomat. It's probably the only, the only reason the coalition even got created. Because Poland could join it. But they didn't. Let's declare the war on Poland so they won't join the coalition. More free war score. There goes the court and country. We don't know what court and country is. Let me just choose something here. Court and country is a disaster that uh, takes 10 years. It decreases the uh, goods price modifier by 20%, tax by 20%, and max absolute is by 20%. So now it's 65, but if in uh, 10 years you end up with 65 absolutes or more, you get 20 additional max absolutes. So instead of 85, I'll be having 105 max absolutes. And I should focus to improve relations with the outage countries. So not join the coalition. Oh, I'm not so sure if it's a good idea to attack here. We have too many troops, but they actually be after a tough battle with the rebels. So I'll be standing here. They run away! So I'll do with the rebels instead of them. And I can peace out Poland, I'm just waiting for the promises uh, from Denmark to be court first. You see guys, we will get this country to a very mighty position soon. I just plus 5%, so it costs me 536. And I can unlock admin ideas. Take the first one. And soon the second one as well. What if I concentrate the provinces? Liberty desire 30. How is it now? 36. This? Desire. Let's do this. This is now 91%. We got disloyal, but if I click this, it's now 42. Just to have uh, to improve relations with them a little bit more. Let's take this from uh, Poland and Lithuania. And I think uh, now the coalition should pretty much dissolve. Let me just feed uh, Kiev with plenty of provinces. Yeah, second admin idea. Just 310 wins, my golden year ending, by the way. Next year, actually. <laughs> and Ottomans just left the caution the moment my golden year ended. Where's Moscow now? 114, yes. Yes, very nice. Now I can peace out Moscow. Full annexation of both him and uh, Yazai. 39 diplo points that it cost me, but it's fine. Fixing the borders even further, guys. These guys are loyal. Let's go and dev some provinces. Yasma. Okay, the death cost. Smolensk. They also do have the state edict, so I can use it in Wrocław. So now it's 50, so I'm getting 5 max absolute, so it's 65 now. And I fully annex you. That will be close, actually. I can. That's 97 over extension. And 364 admin points to pay. So let's wait, because I don't have that many. Go for it. I'll concentrate the death as well, so I will not be having 138 over extension. 
I go to this princess. Concentrate. 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 Actually, I'll just take this and concentrate. So now it's 127. Look at these borders, guys. I'm so proud of them. Let's go and declare on the Ottomans now. It's going to be show superiority. Holy war. They don't have that many troops now. Declare the war. Go for Ackerman. 5 6 stack. Uh, you get the stack with free siege. And you go for Kirim. So rush back as Trakai. Run, fools. They will outnumber me too much. 4.86 to 0.6. I'm I mean, this guy should be 9th of August. I mean, it's close. But no. Let's run away. Do you notice that since Leviathan AIs are way more likely to breach the walls by themselves? 7 days. I think I should be alive in 7 days. But they were reinforced with 50k as well. I will lose it. Maybe? I would rather I would rather use it. I have no reserves, I have 30k reserves. I have morale, but I don't have reserves. No, not with by rolling once. Oh, ace to two. That's a chance. Six to seven. Come on. My lines are breaking, but they are so are theirs. The 30k is coming to reinforce! I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Yep. Yep. That's a close one though. It's 48k troops to reinforce. Oh yes, Arduin efficiency. So now it's 33. Oh yes, 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 reinforce speed. And 50k troops to be reinforced. That's a wipe. It has to be a wipe. Took down Jojo. Yeah, wipe them. Now I have a chance to wipe them here as well. Yes! Yes! There it goes! Are they even going... I thought they were coming after me, but I'll come after them. Just shift consolidate. See, they're, they're having plenty of troops to reinforce with. And let's change this guy back to the discipline one. Just in case I'm coming. Okay. Finally one battle. It's gonna kill this, this Ottoman stack standing in Ackerman. <laughs> Look at this stack, it's 16 to 31. <laughs> Just waiting to be wiped. Yes, that's a wipe. 64 is 35, and it will go down 21. Just take a look at this. I'm sure. And these guys are going for Moscow. 21. That's a miracle, it didn't go down. Alright, let's just peace them out for whatever they accept at this point. Kirim, maybe this. Mm. 7, 84, 82, okay. Peace them out. Thank you so much. Now, feed Kiev those two provinces. And I can even feed them with these provinces. So I'm in the middle of annexing them anyway. Second of all, let's release Bulgaria. Yes, and feed them with those two provinces. And once this force goes down in this province, court and country will also finish. There it goes. State is triumphant. So now my max absolute is 105, and I can get actually one additional 5 right away from this. And there's a couple of rebels. And rest from harsh treatment. Now I can take the defender with the faith. Come on. Should be accepting the peace, yes. Okay. Maybe this? No. Just peace them out. This doesn't matter. Concentrate, 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 and core. Ah, and 2000. This is a, this is beautiful. This is the, by the way, the religious map of Europe. Protestants in the middle, reformed, Catholics on the west, and Orthodox on the east. Look at this. Check. Just make sure to delete the troops that I took over from them. Look at these borders. Just need to. Take care of Poland to fix it even further. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Rika campaign. And if you still enjoy this campaign and would like to see one more final episode on YouTube, just let me know by liking this particular video. And I will see you soon.